G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in that last video, I looked at these two cheap oil cans, these high-pressure oil cans from Banggood, and it was pretty obvious that the, the cheap one, the red one, was the better unit. It's, um, you know, even the bottom of this one, man, they could have at least sprayed the bottom of it. I mean, that's 50% dearer than that one. I couldn't find anything wrong with this one. If I was going to fault it, the only thing I would fault is that when you screw the, the cap on the bowl, it's a fairly, it's a pretty tight fit. It goes on okay, but it, you know, it's firm. Whereas this one's looser. Uh, yeah, so overall, yeah, for, for high bucks, I thought that was good buying. Quite happy with that, really, for the money. Now, this thing here, it leaked at this joint here, so it needs some uh, Loctite in there or some glue or something. And then after the um, after the video, I noticed that it was leaking at this screw here. Now I tried to screw that up, and it stripped out. So if we put the screwdriver on. She goes round and round and she doesn't do anything. The screw on that one is uh, firm, it's good. That, you know, the whole thing here is good. So that screw is loose, letting it leak oil. See some oil there, dribble down. So today I'm going to take the screw out and take the plug out the back of this one. I won't mess with this one because it's pretty good. I, I, leave that as it is but with this we'll take the plug out the back and we'll see what's in these little jiggers and uh, take that screw out as well and see what we can find out so I've got my trusty allen key set here so I got it just left handed I've managed to damage my right arm so got it burnt when I was doing some welding the other day so. I don't want you getting that in camera, it's not going to look too pretty. Okay, let's take this plug out. Put a bit of rag here. Okay, so the plug comes out. And there's a spring in there. And that just pushes against the back of the piston. So that piston comes right out. Well, it will with a bit of wire. Let's try and get this out. There we go. She's out. So there's the piston. There's no O-ring on there, it's just a... soft plastic piston. As you can see, straight through there. Now, looking at it closely, I can't see any seal down there. It's just plastic. It's relying on the plastic, and it's relying on this seal to be effective enough that the oil can't get past it, which it has done. I mean, it's obviously the oil hasn't got past it. So it looks pretty good. Okay. Now, the screw up the top here. Looks like a, might be a bleed of some sort. So we'll take that out. Yeah, I had a nasty happening with the bullfinch torch the other day. It, it bit me on the arm <laughs> quite quite severely. So 
Oh, I won't show you that, it looks pretty gross. Okay. Now what does this do? Oh, there's a spring in there. So that is a valve of some sort. Where's my bit of wire? Okay. There you go. And there's a ball. Okay, so it sucks the oil up through the the centre pipe pickup, and it the piston pressures back against the end of this cap. So basically, that's basically the pressure and suction section here, and from there it goes up along the tube and out. So that's your valve and uh, that's the return spring. It's pretty simple. There's really not much to go wrong with them. Um, yeah, except that in this case the screw doesn't do what it's supposed to, to do. So I'll see if I can find another screw for it. Right, well I went through my one of my uh, little drawers of Allen head bolts. And I found this one, which uh, is pretty close. I mic'd it up with the mic, and it's slightly larger than the one that came out. And the thread is the same sort of thread, metric. Oh, pretty close. And I've tried it, and it does actually oops, screw into the plastic. Okay, so there we go. So it screws in and it feels pretty right. Yeah, comes up tight, that's good. So, that gets us out of jail on that one. I'll just have to shorten the length of this to uh, the same as the original screw and really we're, we're looking good and then it's just a matter of it's just a matter of uh, seal the thread with a bit of Loctite and the can should be okay. So I'll shorten this thing, this bolt and uh, so we get the same pressure on the spring, and we're good to go. Right, to do this I'll just use collets once again, because they can grip that small round stuff no problem. And I'll use the old Shorblin. Once again, that's why it's handy to have a second up lathe to set up the collets. And, uh, yeah, I started to grind it off, but it was burning my finger. It was too hot because it's so short, so I'll use the lathe, and that'll, that'll really do a good job of it. Check it and see how good it is. That looks spot on to me. That'll do it. Okay, so we'll put the piston back in first. Because the ball valve might interfere with it. So we'll just uh, oil her up. Okay, we've got the piston back in. It wasn't too bad, just had to move it around a bit. Then the spring. The end cap. Good. 
Now, and you put in the bolt, spring, and you bolt. Which will look better than the original one. A good, good set of Allen keys is, Allen wrenches is handy. Look at that. Perfect. Tight. Excellent. It's just that point one of a mil bigger diameter than the original. The thread was in there, but that bit in beautiful. So yeah, she's all good. So now it's just a matter of uh, put a bit of Loctite on the spout, put it in, and good to go. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'll use some of this stag jointing paste, which is for fuel lines and that. That'll be better. Now, I've uh, washed off this in that with a bit of acetone, and I've used a cotton bud to wash, wash down in there to get it clean. So now we can just put the stag on the thread. Heavy duty. Yeah, that good stuff. Now yeah, we'll screw her in. That will never leak. That will never leak. Rightio, job done. Turn up tight. Get pulled up firm. Just a matter of let the stag harden. And uh, after 24 hours we're going to use it. You could actually probably use it straight away because it won't move that stuff. That's basically a really heavy old style gas fitting and petrol line uh, sealer. The only thing that will actually dissolve this is methylated spirits or um, acetone, but it's totally impervious to fuel and uh, yeah, it's a good sealer. As old as the hills, as they say. Okay, well, that's it from me. I hope you found it interesting and yeah, it's all fixable. It's just a matter of spend a bit of time and once again you can see what's inside these not much at all, really. So, um, yeah, I think it should last quite well. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.